You'd better tell the captain. We've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Tell the captain I must speak to him. Sir. I did it for her. I did everything for her. And now she's gone. And you, you came down here to get a hot story, didn't you? Pictures of me to send you lousy newspapers. Uh, Frank. Sure, you think I'm a big hero, the man of the hour? Well, do any of you understand how a man can hurt inside? Frank, Frank they're not here for you. Weird Al Yankovic is on the plane. <laughs> Captain, how soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I mean, we can't land for another two hours. Fog has closed down everything this side of the mountains. We've got to get through to Chicago. Say is that Wilma, as soon as Nordberg is better, he's welcome back at police squad. Unless he's a drooling vegetable. But I think that's only common sense. What is it, doctor? What's going on? I'm not sure seen anything like this since the Anita Bryant concert. What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak, fish. Yes, yes, I remember. I had lasagna. Yeah. Lieutenant Drebin, police squad. Oh, I remember you, Drebin. Uh, well, what do you want? I want to ask you some questions. You familiar with that face? I don't know. My memory ain't so great. Oh, yeah? Maybe this will refresh your memory. I don't know. It's still kind of hazy. How about this? Yeah, I remember him. I used to see him around. Why do you want to know? I can't tell you that. Well, maybe this will help. I really don't think I should. Yeah, you still don't think so? All right, his name is Nordberg. He's a cop. He was no cop. He was dealing H. What? I'm telling you, he was dirty. Oh, you snubbling scum. I ought to run you in right now. All right, all right. He worked at Ludwig Shipping. He tried to push something on one of my boys. I swear it. So what are you going to do about it, copper? Well, why should I tell you? Maybe this will help. I still don't think I should tell you. Can you spot me at 20? How about now? All right, I'm going down to Ludwig's office. I'll find out if you're telling the truth. Now we know what we're up against. Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Just how serious is it, Doctor? Extremely serious. Starts with a slight fever, dryness of the throat. As the virus penetrates red blood cells, the victim becomes dizzy. Because we experience an itching, a rash, from there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing severe muscle spasms, followed by the inevitable drooling. At this point, the entire digestive system collapses, accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence, until finally the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. To, uh, so they were able to get him to the hospital in time? Yes, he's in the intensive care ward at Our Lady of the Worthless Miracle. Well, this certainly comes as a shock to me, Lieutenant. But as you know, I am not the kind of man who takes this type of thing lightly. And there is no room in my organization for any type of criminal activity. Look out there. A vast commercial development built by me. Do you have any idea what was out there just five years ago? Yeah! You bet you do. Orange groves, acres of them, as far as the eye could see. But now, of course, that land is able to generate ten times the amount of profit per square foot. Are you all right, Lieutenant? Here, let me get you some Kleenex. Uh, has this officer, um, what's his name, uh, Norberg, been able to um, tell you anything? Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. How are the passengers doing? I won't deceive you, Mr. Stryker. We're running out of time. Surely there must be something you can do. I'm doing everything I can. Now stop calling me Shirley. Let go of that fellow! <laughs> I've heard police work is dangerous. It is. That's why I carry a big gun. Aren't you afraid it might go off accidentally? I used to have that problem. And what did you do about it? I just think about baseball. That may be. But bringing it to Ludwig's office, you're taking a big chance. 
I know. If you take a chance getting up in the morning, crossing the street, or sticking your face in a fan. Wasn't on Ludwig's records. Probably an oversight. How is your, um, meat? You be the judge of that. Mm. <laughs> I've got nine more. Right here, Frank. Right. Neuberg. Me. Frank, your buddy. You're very special. Can I interest you in a nightcap? No, thank you. I don't wear them. It's the same old story. Boy finds girl, boy loses girl, girl finds boy. Boy forgets girl, boy remembers girl. The girl dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange Bowl on New Year's Day. Good year? No, the worst. Oh, dear. Bingo. Yes, well, when I see five weirdos dressed in togas stabbing a guy in the middle of the park in full view of a hundred people, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. That was a Shakespeare in the Park production of Julius Caesar, you moron. You killed five actors. <laughs> Closed down three years ago. Oh, gee, has it been that long? I don't feel like Chinese tonight anyway. Frank, it's so sweet of you to be concerned about me. What's really wrong with him? And he's such a gentleman. He's so, so gentle. I wanted you to know now. I've loved you since the first day I met you, and I'll never stop. I'm a very lucky woman. So am I. Oh, right, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Security. All right, all right. Get your hands Take it easy. That's a Anything's going to happen. Hey, I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? You think we were born yesterday? You didn't do anything. Well, uh, uh, I've got rights. Look, I... Look, yeah. He's got a picture of your wife. Ethel. What's so Frank? No, no. He's just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. Uh, oh, oh. Well. Oh, you're the finest dumb I've ever seen. What game are you looking at? What game are you looking at? Oh, 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 you're, you're the boss. You're the right. That would save me. There's someone else here who wants to thank you. Norbert! Hiya, buddy. Hey! Doc says I should be on my bean and as good as new in a week. And back on the force. Norbert! That's wonderful. Whoa! Come, oh, Frank. Everyone should have a friend like you. Oh! 
Woke up this morning.